All right, today is uh, Brass Fire with weird mouthpieces. <laughs> so I have a bunch of, so I I talk a lot about like the same kind of mouthpieces like Lotus and <clears throat> some of the shilky pieces I have and even that Sound Fresh, Sound Freak, I guess. If I didn't talk about that one so much, I'd probably include it in this, but since I brought that up and played it a bunch of times, I won't. Uh, but I have some different stuff. I have some things coming from Yamaha this week, as well as Diorio. I don't know if you guys have ever heard that, but they're uh, they're kind of a cool modular mouthpiece. Like these are these screw together two or three pieces, you know, like the like this was a two piece. But uh, in any event, I thought it would be cool to play a couple of weird mouthpieces through this just beautiful horn that I can't seem to put down uh, at this point. It's it just such a, I don't know, it's just got a really cool Cool vibe, feel, sound, all that for me. So let's uh, let's get right into it. This is, uh, it's going to be really hard for me to tell you what these things are. I'll try, maybe. No, I won't be able to. There's nothing even on this thing. <laughs> There's literally no markings on this. It is a Diorio two-piece. If I can get it apart, it's like all slimy. Hang on. Oh, my hand is wet. That's the problem. Hang on one second. Wow, my videos are so professional, huh? There we go. So you can see it's a two-piecer. Apparently, I shouldn't have screwed it together so tight. And you know what I also noticed? I don't know. Can, can you see inside? See? Yeah, see. There it is. Look. That is flat. I think that I've finally come across how these mouthpieces that sound very airy and breathy do that. They all have a flat spot down in the in, inside of the mouthpiece. The Sound Fresh does, this one does, and this one sounds, well, you'll hear it in a second, very airy. Anything I put in this thing just sounds great. It's kind of a first for me. I've never had a... I love all my flugels, but this one really... Uh, no matter what mouthpiece I put in there, man, it sounds good. All right, this is another Diorio. Now, let me just... Yeah, a little bit... A little bit different. I mean, obviously, it's gold, but this bottom part's definitely different physically. Um, it's also a, a screw together, so this one comes apart. I guess I could try different tops. I've never really done that, but this one doesn't, man, that is deep. So I'm expecting this, like that is so deep. It's hard to, I don't know if you can see it, but <laughs> that's mega deep. So let's see uh, what that one sounds like. Dennis Wick, and it's a definitely a fatter rim. Like that one, too. I'd probably go with the wick if I were to pick one that wanted that fatter sound, but that, that's cool. I don't know, I just like a lot of mouthpieces. This is a uh, a Bach 2FL in gold. When I first got back into flugel, I played nothing but Bach mouthpiece. I, don't know, they, I find these things are, they're very neutral in terms of what they sound like. There's nothing like particularly special about them, but they feel really nice on your uh, your lips and they're very easy to bend notes on.
still feel like I play that one pretty good. Now, here's some strange ones, right? So this is a uh, a Legends SHFL. Look at this cool thing. That's pretty neat, right? It's like a weird shape. Kind of a weird blank. It's pretty heavy, though. Um, like, it's, it's heavier than a normal mouthpiece. I don't know about you guys, but for some ridiculous reason, I'm caught up in the world of aesthetics as well. So... Like, for some reason, this particular style of paddle uh, for the trigger, visually, I don't like it. But it works perfectly, just like the maker said it would, when I was like, hey, that thing is ugly, I don't like it. But uh, I don't like it, what it looks like, but it works perfectly good. Same with this mouthpiece. This mouthpiece is really strange looking, but I really like that. I think that's a cool, I, I don't know, it makes literally no difference what these things look like <laughs> in terms of how they play. Just messed up. Anyway, this is the uh, Legends SHFL. nice sound right so that was uh my interpretation of roy hargrove's wood uh flugelhorn uh playing one of his most famous songs put in the comments if you know what that song is uh if i played it well enough that you can recognize that particular solo but man that is like the go-to flugelhorn solo for me but uh this is a really cool uh mouthpiece i think it sounds really neat all right now let me get into these other couple of weirdos i got here uh, I do a lot of stuff. Obviously, I bought this horn from Austin Custom Brass, and I have a, quite a few of their mouthpieces as well. These are their Lexan topped uh, mouthpieces. I don't really know. I think these are like one point. Yeah, you know, let's see. One. It's really hard to read because I got white. One point two five CS. <laughs> Sorry, F. It's. I, I mean, I, you can't see it. I even tried to color it in, but anyway, these are screw off tops. And I really like the Kelly series of mouthpieces. They're real cheap little Lexan plastic things. But the, I don't know, they sound good and they feel really good too. So this one, let's see. Yeah, so I think, sorry. I know, don't yell at me because I'm, I'm my talking is too much. So this is the MD, I have a, a 1.25 CSF and a CSMDF. So maybe this one's, yeah, this is a little bit more shallow. So let's see what these things sound like here. deeper of the two this is oops, <laughs> this is pretty light too it's medium deep and right off the bat i'll tell you it, it feels great on your lips That's it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments and then tell me what Roy Hargrove song that was. <laughs> 